I didn't have the right type of weed, the marijuana. Yeah. That they're pretty much smoking so much or consuming so much THC. It doesn't matter what type of smoking, eating, as long as you consume THC, you can still bring out. Yeah. I've, uh, I've experienced such before. Yeah, I, I also do agree on this. It's not a good thing. It's kind of, how can I explain this in a good term? It's not painful, but it's annoying. Um, let me ask you this. Can it also lead to dehydration? Yes, it very much can. Todd mom was saying you need to drink a lot of water after you finish drinking out. Yeah. The whole process, you will have to be completely hydrated. That's actually one of the best things. But here's the thing. How to avoid green out, right? Right. For our magic thing, you can do your income of THC, which is right. You slow down what you're doing, say like you smoke or you eat an edible a day, the whole thing a day, you smoke two or three blunts a day, you cut that down. Right. Probably say like half of the brownie or a quarter of the brownie, and you let your body get used to doing the low income of THC. And then when that happens and you finish getting out, you also slowly go back up to your consumption. Don't automatically go back to smoking those two blunts. A day or that whole edible a day because you you will bring out again and probably faster right probably faster second time is always it's always second way is always the strongest mm-hmm. in my opinion mm-hmm. second way is always the strongest right but like you said from dehydration as well <coughs> you need to drink up and eat up so as in drink a lot of water if you do smoke something right before you do it before you do it, have a little middle, probably, I would say cereal, but like have some snacks, some snacks or something, just like a plug, actually put something in your stomach, and then you can smoke, or then you can have it soon. Because it's, 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 I can I say this, it's, it can last from, it can start for 30 minutes to an hour, which is a really quick one, or it can go to six plus hours. The grain now. Just the grain now. Just, it's only, it's not over a couple of days, it's usually hours work. So once you get to that point, your body, your THC, um, THC consumption will come down. But it just, you'll go right back up to it as fast as you can. Now, what does happen if you like mix uh, liquor and all? Good question. Good question. That right there is when running out becomes critical and lethal. There's multiple counts of people have thrown up and choked on their own throw up yeah like right there on one account is jimmy hendrix that's how he he grabbed the message he passed away from green out but choking from throw up is the way he has passed away and when it comes to green out and alcohol when you mix things together your body you drink some alcohol your body's like okay my stomach can't handle this i have to throw it back up but you're or you're high you're so high that your body is just loose and you're in the mood but i realize you're throwing up it's in your throat and right and if somebody, if you're by yourself and you don't know, you can literally choke right there. That's why if you ever drink out while you're drinking, that person cannot be alone. They have to be watched probably 24 hours very attentively. They have to throw up. If they do throw up, you have to watch them throw up. Shower them and make sure they drink a lot of water. I'll say hey. I'm not waving. How are you guys doing today? Let me see what's going on with this. Please turn the camera up, Jerry. Say that again. Oh, that was the next question. Thank you, Mr. Jerry. Have any of y'all ever had smokers hangover? Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Describe what, what smokers hangover would be. <laughs> they like some people do like to smoke before they go to bed because it helps them, you know, go to sleep. We wake up and so sometimes refresh. But then there's the point to where you you're smoking. Not to go to sleep, but you smoke, and then you fall asleep because you smoke so much. Because there's so much THC and so much marijuana you consume before you actually your body will make you go to sleep. And when you wake up, your body's still in that high. You wake up groggy, you wake up with a headache, you wake up like it's not sickness that you got throw up, it's more like your body is just it's just off. Like your shoulders might feel stiff, like your arms are little it's not all the way there. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with that also. Yes, I've definitely experienced that multiple times too. Yeah, that's 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 what I don't like that. But on my part, my on like my part, waking up hot is good, but waking up a hangover is not so much. I, I, I don't really like regular hangover. Let me see. So you guys know why I told you guys why I stopped eating right now. Let's let's go with some. Now, like I said, it's called wing hangover. It's when people drink or not, people smoke way too much. Yeah, yeah basically just I went over everything. Smoke, smoke too much and then you just it's just like a what, what can you say for that? Like overlaps? Over not yeah, I would say overlaps. So pretty much what THC responds in your head is pretty will say, Hey, this is way too much for me. I my body from what I can work with, I can't do this anymore. You're gonna have to stop right here. And if you keep doing it, it then it's gonna remind you, like, okay, if you wanna keep going, his little pain in your, your, your arms or his little headache started off, had a little short migraine. Or the, let me say, like, you, you get aggravated very fast. Or you just, every time you smoke, like, I don't know why I keep throwing up. Like, you have these type of questions, like, your body. Because some people, like, some people, like people say, marijuana does have effects when it comes to medical. But it also it's also the users to use a drug. So if you get too much of it, and can you consume too much of it, then you at one point you you you're the one who has to stop it. No one else can really stop it for you. You have to stop it. That's what your body is there for. It's like, hey, I know this this, this is your body, you do what you do, but I, I work the inside. You need to take care. Exactly. You need to calm down. You need to have a what can I say? Actually, I'll, I'll get this away a little bit. It's called a tolerance break. We'll be talking about this in another segment. But to let you guys know, it's called a tolerance break. That's pretty much what you need to do. It's just completely stop with you. But not full on break. Because most people have that. When they try to break, they automatically get the other thing I call which is. Okay, so I got a question for you. Yeah. Because the majority of the people that will be suffering from some of the uh, effects that you speak of will be people that are obviously abusing the marijuana for reasons like uh, anxiety, stress, things of that nature. So what would you recommend? And I'm honestly, I'm telling you this because I've experienced a lot of things that you're talking about, and it was due to exactly what I'm saying, anxiety, stress. And uh, so what would you recommend for other people listening for myself also? They would say, what would you recommend as some substitutes or some things to do to avoid smoking so much to deal with those Feelings of stress and anxiety because that's what's the cause of you abusing in the first place. Well, I have a wonderful follower in here called Reset Wellness. Um, mm -hmm. I would honestly go, I, I know what they say, I'm going to say it, but I'll go talk to them as well. I will go over to the side because with, with anxiety and with stress, you need to be relaxed. Then these right. body has to be in a state where it's relaxed. And that's the part of where yeah, it's, uh, That's the next thing we're going to get into. So, uh, difference between THC and CBD, and okay, a, a kind of combat with uh, mental health because it is mental health awareness month, so we really want to tackle that and uh, just inform people what the difference is and how they both can uh, help. Talking facts, okay. So, I got one for them then, okay. Now, can you do the same thing to yourself with CBD now? By like, let's say you're smoking this CBD and marijuana, you. You're abusing it. Uh, uh, can the well, same thing happen? No, you actually can't because with CBD, uh, you don't get that high sensation. So it's, it's not really possible for you to green out. With CBD, it's just for, it's like a body relaxer. Like, it's helping with uh, anxiety and like uh, pain and stuff like that. So it doesn't give you like the, the highness or, you know, in your head or stuff like that. So it's just mainly for uh, just body purposes. Uh, body, relaxation. Relaxation. Got it, got it, got it. So I mean, there you go. That's 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 the answer right there. That's that's one of them. All right, all right, Jamie. We're gonna have to go to the next post or the next guest real quick. All right. Okay. Wonderful talking to you. Like you, like you always say.